from most of the guys I see that want to pose as alpha male, one of the things I see about them is that they are proud about not being submitted to anybody. They are proud about not having anybody that they can be accountable to. It's part of what goes with their persona of being an alpha male. But that doesn't tally with the alpha male called Jesus. I did a post some months ago about alpha male and I didn't know there were so many people that were into that thing. You know, I got so much kickback about it. You know, some people felt that they're alpha males and I didn't speak well of alpha males. That's why it's good to do this video. Let's look at what a real alpha male is. Our vision is to disciple the earth one family at a time, teaching them God's true intention and purpose for family life, love, dating, and marriage. Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. And this is a special video uh, because is dedicated to men, all right? We're celebrating the Father's Day, the Man's Day. So we want to dedicate this video to men. So if you're a woman or lady watching this, please forward it to all the men in your life. Either your husband, fiance, brother, son, father, send to them. Um, we don't usually do a lot of videos tailored for only men, but today this is one of them in honor and in celebration of the Father's Day in the month of June. All right. So, hey, welcome, everybody. Don't forget, if you have not liked or subscribed to this channel, make sure you do so. Don't forget, we have other sister channels that you can join. Um, Pastor Mildred's channel, Pastor Mildred Kingsley Okonkwo. There is also the Q&A channel with PK and PM. And there's also LDN with PK channel and Clips channel and Wholesome Sexuality channel. Loads of stuff. So, please make sure you subscribe and be blessed by those contents. Okay, so today... Since we are talking to men, we are talking about the real alpha male. The real alpha male. So, out of the blues, all of a sudden, in recent times, there has been so much talk about alpha male. When I was younger, I didn't, there was no such, it wasn't a phrase, a common phrase. But in the past couple of years, there's been so much talk about alpha male. And I've even discovered there are a lot of guys everywhere trying to identify themselves as alpha male. I don't know. How these trends catch on sometimes. So they love guys. Someone introduces themselves as alpha male everywhere they go. They try to tell women I'm an alpha male. They try to tell other men I'm an alpha male. And um, I think that has been a challenge with men largely. We, we, we don't have so many positive examples. We don't have so many uh, parameters to measure manhood or manliness. Not much is given to us. So people just use other things to measure how manly they are. And they, they set up their own parameters set up their own uh, measurements. Some use by how much alcohol they can take, how much money they can make, um, how many material things they have, how many women they, they have, things like that. But for us as believers, um, I think we have the strongest example of an alpha male that we can use to measure what it means to be an alpha male. All right? Um, unlike the world, um, that word alpha male has almost become toxic or a representation of a toxic male. All right, most guys that want to impose and insist that they are alpha males, you find that they come with a certain behavior. Most, okay, not all, but most come with a certain brash, you know, um, um, domineering behavior that even now becomes toxic to relationships and to women. In fact, I did a post some months ago about alpha male, and I didn't know there were so many people that were into that thing. You know, I got so much uh, uh, kickback, if that's the word to use, you know, um, about it, you know, some people felt that, you know, that they're alpha males and I didn't speak well of alpha males, you know. I, I think we too, that's why it's good to do this video. Let's look at what a real alpha male is, all right? And there's no better way to measure who is an alpha male than the best and strongest alpha male ever. The best example of a man, the best example of a real man other than Jesus Christ the son of God. All right? I mean, you can't be more alpha male than that. Jesus is so alpha male that he is called the alpha and the omega. <laughs> you can't be more alpha male than Jesus Christ. That is the best. Is that any other parameter you want to use is going to be self-destructive. It's going to be toxic, you know, and it's just going to be, it's just not going to be palatable. The best example of an alpha male is to use Jesus Christ. He's the best model of a man 
for other men. If you're out there watching me, you're a man, you don't know what it means to be a man, you don't know how it means to be a good man, an honorable man, an alpha male, hey, then behold Jesus, the best man ever. All right? The best man ever. And we're going to look at it. He's alpha and omega, so it works. All right? He's alpha and omega, and you want to be alpha male, he's the best alpha male. So let's see some real examples of, how, of who an alpha male is and how an alpha male should look. So let, let's use one. Uh, let me start with the first one. We're going to be looking at it from the life of Jesus. The re a real alpha male is submitted to authority. A real alpha male is submitted to authority. From most of the guys I see in the natural that want to pose as alpha male, one of the things I see about them is that they, 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 are, they are proud about not being submitted to anybody. They are proud about not having anybody that, can, that they can be accountable to. It's part of what goes with their persona of being an alpha male. But that doesn't tally with the alpha male called Jesus. Because we see in the life of Jesus that he was submitted to authority. Even though he being God, like I said, you can't be more alpha male than the Almighty. You can't be more alpha male than Jesus. You cannot. No matter how big your chest is, you cannot. If you have chest, come and take nail. <laughs> if you have chest, come and take nail. Now, those nails were not, were not, were not uh, the kind of nails we use today. Those nails were, 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 were this high. They were, they were, I mean, massive nails. Massive, massive nails. And they didn't put it just in his hands. They put it in his wrist. You know, so if you, if you have chest, <laughs> come on, come on, hang on the cross. You can't be more alpha male than Jesus. And the Bible says, Jesus, as powerful as he is, even he being God, didn't mind to come down and humble himself and be submitted to the authority of men. The creator didn't mind to be submitted to the creation. Most alpha male of today won't agree to do that. They think being obnoxious, being stubborn, being rebellious, being solo, being uncontrollable is the idea of an alpha male. No, you're a weak man when you're like that. You're not an alpha male. A real alpha male is submitted to authority. Jesus came down. John the Baptist was the authority on the ground before Jesus started his ministry. And John the Baptist was baptizing people and Jesus joined the line to be baptized. And when he got to his stone, John the Baptist saw him and said, Ah, bros, <laughs> toilet. <laughs> He said, bros, I can't baptize you. Now you be the chairman, you know, boss and everything. He said, I, I'm not even worthy to unlace your shoe, to touch your shoe latchet and all that. And Jesus, the alpha male said, allow it to be so for now. He said, let it be so for now. That it's important that I too am submitted to authority. Wow. The creator submitted to his creation. Jesus submitted to authority. And throughout his life, we saw him submitting to authority. There are times they wanted him to pay tax. He said, I'm above these people. I'm not really of their kingdom. But he said, allow it to be so for now. Oh, that guy just had a calmness about him. That's the real idea of an alpha male. Somebody submitted to authority. If there's a man watching me, I know you have big chest, big beard. But who are you submitted to? Can you be humble enough, man enough, secure enough? to be submitted to authority? Who can talk to you? Who, who do you respect? Who do you revere? If you are a man all by yourself and nobody can talk to you, you are a weak man, not an alpha male. Because the real alpha male we can see here was submitted to John the Baptist's authority because John the Baptist was the authority figure at the time. All right? So this rebellious spirit most men are carrying about in the name of alpha male is not alpha male at all. All right? Very important. Alpha males submit to authority. Mm. Second thing, that makes a powerful alpha male is that a real alpha male is not afraid to show emotions. It's not afraid to show emotion. We see that again in the life of Jesus. The Bible talked about Jesus when his friend died. He said, Jesus wept. And this was in public. Jesus wept. He was not afraid or ashamed to show emotion. A lot of boys and men are being groomed and taught today that it is weak to cry, it is weak to be emotional, it is weak to show emotion, but that's not the example our alpha male, our ultimate alpha male Jesus gave us. It's okay to show emotion. You are human. This doesn't mean you cry at every single opportunity. I get that. But however, don't be ashamed or afraid when it's necessary to show emotion. The Bible said Jesus wept. It was public. I mean, the Almighty, the Alpha and the Omega, 
wept because Lazarus, his friend, was dead. He knew he was going to raise Lazarus, but he wasn't so out of touch with his emotions not to cry with the people that were crying. The Bible says we should mourn with those that mourn and rejoice with those that rejoice. Real alpha males show emotion. I see some people bouncing up and down today. They can't smile. They can't cry. They can't show any emotion. They think being alpha male is by how much you can frown. That's not the Bible. You can stand up in an alpha male. All right? Young man, young, young man, go home, hug your child, hug your wife, show emotion when you need to show emotion. When something hurts you, it's okay to express emotion. Bottling in emotion is a sure way for, to, for either an outburst or depression. All right? Bottling emotion is what leads to sudden, you know, outburst where you see somebody suddenly go from zero to hundred and attack someone or kill someone or show excessive anger. It's because they are bottling in a lot of things. It is not healthy to bottle in emotions. If Jesus can show emotion, they are alpha male. You too can show emotion because that's the example we get from the ultimate alpha male. He showed emotion. He was not afraid or ashamed to show emotion. Number three, real alpha males are not ashamed or afraid to put their brides or their women first. What I discovered among these alpha males around is that they get, they get their sense of manliness from how dominant and how much they can oppress a woman and how much they can show that they are in control of everything. No, Jesus showed us a perfect example by learning to put the bride first. In fact, in Ephesians chapter 5, they said, Husbands, love your wife the way Christ loved the church and, and gave himself for her. In other words, he was willing to die for his bride. He was willing to put his bride's need first. If you're a real alpha male, one of the ways you know is that you honor your bride by putting her first. You are not going about just quoting the scripture that says women should submit. You know, that's never how the scripture really actually said. But people quote it about, I've discovered, people just quote one side of the scripture. The full scripture says the wife should submit to a dying man. <laughs> That's the full scripture. The same way parents always quote, children obey your parents. They never quote the complete. The complete thing says, um, you parents don't provoke your children. But no, no parent quotes the full thing. Same way no man quotes the full thing. The full thing is that you are going to submit to me, I'm going to die for you. And Jesus gave us that perfect example. If you're a real alpha male, it shows in the amount of sacrifices you are willing to make for your bride. Not the sacrifice you choose, but the sacrifice that is necessary. Because some men say, well, I'm going to work every day. That's the sacrifice I'm going to know. Part of the sacrifice in includes putting her needs first. If she needs attention, you pay attention. You, you spend time. You are humble. All right? So a real alpha male is not afraid to put his bride first like Jesus all right, did. Next one. Real alpha males are loyal to their bride. They are loyal to the one bride that they have. Because the common thing among guys in town that are saying they're alpha male is they're trying to show how many ladies they have. I mean, I actually watched one, in quote, popular alpha male, you know, say that he, there's this time he used to have sex with seven ladies in a day, continuously for days. Seven different ladies, you know, because this is the idea the world gives of an alpha male, somebody sleeping around. No, the real alpha male Jesus was loyal and is loyal to his bride. Is loyal to his bride. He said, I will build my church. All right? One bride, one church. A real alpha male is loyal. That's how you be an alpha male. You have control over your emotions, over your sexuality, over lust. You have control. Not by spreading yourself around and sleeping with as many girls as you can. That does not make you an alpha male. That makes you a loose man. A man out of control. Okay? Very important. If you want to be alpha male, be like the ultimate alpha male, Jesus. Very loyal, very faithful. Next point. The real alpha males don't have to prove a point, all right? I see these guys in town, they are very eager to prove a point. They are very eager to drive the biggest car, very eager to wear very tight-fitting clothes. They, they just think it's about in being imposing. You see, Jesus, the real alpha male, did not brag or try to prove a point. I mean, Satan appeared to him and said, if you be the son of God, if you really be an alpha male, turn this stone to bread. And he said, look, I'm not going to be defined by your own parameters that I am who God says I am. A real alpha male finds his confidence and his sense of identity from who God says he is, not from performance, not from pride, not from what people think. Jesus did not insist 
on trying to prove a point. He was very okay with being who God said he was. Just amazing. Very okay with being who God says he was. Next point. Real alpha males have self-control. All right? I noticed that some of these guys bouncing about that they are females, they are usually very violent. Usually very violent. They, they see it as an option to beat up a woman. We see many of these videos today online of guys beating up a woman. But the scripture shows us that Jesus cultivates his bride. He said, would you present your bride to yourself without spot or wrinkle and without bruises? Some alpha males in town today, they present their bride with black eye with bruises, with beatings. That doesn't make you an alpha male. If you don't have control over your anger, over your emotion, see, your strength is not given to you to, to, to bully your wife. It's given to you to build your wife. It's not given to you to beat your wife. It's given to you to protect your bride. That's why you are the stronger uh, 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 person. He said, he said, treat your wife with honor as the weaker vessel. Now, she's not a weaker person in terms of her inner qualities because she's smart, she's strong emotionally, but physically, you were made physically stronger to protect and not to beat. But I see many men that don't find it strange to physically beat a woman. I mean, that is the, that is the highest sense of how little you are as a man if you use your strength to beat a woman. I mean, your mates are earning money in wrestling and boxing. You are here beating one poor woman in the house for free. You are, you are not an alpha male. You are not even a male at all when you act like that. Or at least you're not behaving like a male at all when you act like that. Jesus had self-control. There were many times people insulted him and everything. And the Bible said he answered them not a word. There are times like that when he could have shown his power. In fact, there was a time the disciples came and said, let's call down fire. Let's call down angels. And he said, you don't know what, what manner of spirit you have. We don't, we don't show ourselves just for showing ourselves sick. All right? He had control of his emotions. Very, very important. Real alpha males are not afraid to ask for help or to ask for advice. One of the things I notice again about these guys that want to be alpha male is that they think being alpha male means I must figure everything out. I must know everything for myself. No, real alpha males are not afraid to ask for help. As powerful as Jesus was, he had a team. He recruited people and there are times he prayed he knew he could not go by himself. Lord, he said, Lord, if it be possible, let this cup pass over me. He was able to still pray. He told them, can't you tarry and pray for one hour? Real alpha males know that they can't do it all by themselves and all alone. Praying or asking for help doesn't make you weak. It makes you a strong man. And there's nothing as sexy to a woman like a man that prays. So carrying your chest up and down doesn't make you an alpha male. But being able to lift up your eyes to the Lord is what makes you a solid alpha male, just like Jesus Christ. Real alpha males also like to learn. They don't think they must know everything. When you struggle with learning from other people, you are not showing the traits of a real alpha male. I mean, Jesus from the age of 12 was always going to the temple to ask questions. He stayed there for three days one time asking questions. And I believe that continued to be his practice for many years, learning. But some people feel, oh, they can't sit under anybody. Nobody can teach them anything. Oh, I can't go for counseling. Oh, I can't listen to a seminar. I can't listen to another man. That does not make you an alpha male. Being stubborn and obnoxious does not make you an alpha male. Jesus was able to listen to other people. And real alpha males, next point is real alpha males are builders and cultivators. They, Jesus said, I will build my church. All right? They have a heart that builds, not a heart that destroys. Finding fault and talking down to your bride or to your woman does not make you an alpha male. It actually makes you a weak man. A real alpha male will build up with his words. Just like it says in Ephesians 5. He will build up with his words, not push down with the words. And lastly, these are just random examples I'm giving just to show you how a real alpha male is. Lastly, a real alpha male is not afraid to serve. All right? He's not only posing and waiting to be served, he too is not afraid to serve. If you're a real alpha male, you must be willing to also serve. I tell people all the time, because there are men that say, oh, I can't, <clears throat> say, I can't do that, I can't help, I can't serve. If Jesus, the ultimate alpha male, the alpha and omega, could wash feet, my brother, you can wash dishes. 
<laughs> if Jesus can wash feet, you can wash dishes. In those days, washing of feet was something left for the smallest servant. You had to be the, the lowest of the low of the servants to be the one de delegated to wash feet. In those days, because most of the towns were muddy and, and had those red sand, whenever people visited you, their legs were always, always dirty. The first thing you did for them as part of your entertainment for them was to bring out bowls and wash their feet before they entered the house. And it was the lowest and the most junior servant that did that. So Jesus humbled himself that low to show us that being an alpha male doesn't stop you from serving. If Jesus can wash feet, my brother, you can wash dishes. I've seen people today that are married and they allow their wife slave, slave. Especially in, in, in countries where maybe people don't have house helps and don't have people in the house with them. They let this woman go to the market, do the grocery shopping, do the cooking. And also she wants her to do the dishes. And the man is not helping anything because he believes an alpha male is a chief from his village. My brother, if you're a real alpha male, there's nothing wrong in helping your wife at home. That's what a real alpha male will do. They will be helpful. They will protect their bride. They don't want their bride to be stressed out and die. All right? By the time that woman has lived with you for a few years, she should be finer and healthier and happier, not sicker and unhealthy and depressed because she's married to you. All right? There's nothing there. There's no big deal in serving. Our master, the ultimate alpha male, served and very happy to serve us. You too as an alpha male, should be willing to serve. Serve in your home, serve your kids, serve your spouse. There's nothing wrong in cooking if you can cook or doing dishes or running errands. A real alpha male serves, all right? So this is just a few examples of how our master Jesus was a real alpha male. He, was, he sacrificed for his family, the ultimate sacrifice. So I challenge all the men that are watching, if you really want to be a man, it is measured by the kind of sacrifices you are willing to make and how much you build your home, not how much you destroy it. All right, so I hope this has been a blessing. I want to wish you happy Father's Day, happy Men's Day, or happy anything wherever you are when you're watching this, but it's dedicated to men, and um, I believe it will be a blessing to you. So God bless you. Remember, if you're a lady, share with all the men in your life. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. God bless you.